The world we live in it is easy to get confused about what do I need to do in order to drop fat? I heard this, I heard that, I need to add this, I need to add that, I need to take out this, I need to take that. It can leave you scratching your head. So here are eight things that you need to change, rules that you need to break, myths that I'm going to decipher in order to make sure that you are on your successful journey to optimizing your health, to really optimizing your health, your energy, your focus and your productivity. The first one, cutting carbs. Number one, cutting carbs. Carbohydrates are actually needed. People are going to get stressed about that because there's essential fats, there's essential proteins or amino acids, but there's no essential carbs. But carbohydrates are a big way of, one, giving you energy easily, and two, lowering your stress levels, helping your body dealing with cortisol which essentially is going to help you drop fat. I'm not going through really high processed sugar here, I mean low GI carbs, some good real whole food carbs, they're going to help you. So don't cut the carbs. Number two, the rule that you have to keep your meals small. In fact, eating little and often for really overweight people has been shown to boost cortisol levels every time you eat which is going to be detrimental to your fat loss. Yes, we need cortisol, but we don't need highly elevated cortisol for extreme periods of time. So keeping your meals small and eating little and often, it's not necessarily going to be good for that. And it's about overall calories throughout the day. So if you have to skip a couple of meals and have a couple of large meals, that is totally cool as well. Number three is that you're going to gain loads of muscle if you have protein shakes, which essentially protein shakes are just like having a chicken breast in liquid form, in a lot more convenient form, probably a bit tastier with some of the flavors they have. So if you're going to put on loads of muscle with a chicken breast, you would do the same with a protein shake. Putting on muscle is about the training you're doing, about the intensity, about the volume, about the weight about the recovery and everything like that. Number four, the rule is that you need to only focus on your diet and your exercise routine. Unfortunately, there's a lot more to it than that. You've heard me go on about stress. Stress is the big thing here that could be stopping you from dropping fat, regardless of how good your diet is, regardless of how good your exercise levels are. So keeping your stress in check, getting your sleep in check, getting your recovery in check, getting your mind in check, all these things are going to help you with dropping fat. Number five is that you have to exercise for a long time. You have to spend hours in the gym. That is simply not true. I've got some amazing results with people who are just doing short 10 minute HIIT workouts. People haven't got time to spend hours in the gym. If you like spending hours in the gym, then go spend hours in the gym. It may not be the best for your stress levels though, just bear that in mind. Number six is that you have to drink any and every single liquid you come across. Get water in there, yes, get water and get hydrated. It's gonna help with your whole bodily function. Our body is 60, 70% water. We need to be hydrated. But watch out for beverages that have extra calories. Non-diet fizzy drinks when you get loads of coffees and had sugar and all these sorts of things in there. Loads of added calories that we drink without even realizing. The seventh one, in order to drop fat, you need to join the gym. I've just mentioned about long workouts. You can do body weight workouts at home and mix them in with sorting your stress levels out, sorting your diet out, and you can easily successfully drop fat. And number eight, number eight is that you have to eat boring food chicken and rice, chicken and broccoli, all this stuff over and over and over and over again. That is simply not true. 
With a little bit of preparation, you can actually prepare really nice food. You can get really nice food delivered to your door, and you can go and eat out at restaurants, at takeout places, at seminars, at business events, and all this stuff, and have really nice food. It just takes a little bit of awareness. And that secret, accountability. Which if you need a bit more accountability, just give me a shout. Ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com. Hit me up in the DM, hit a comment. Any way you need to contact me, contact me. We'll arrange a revitalization call and we can chat about getting your accountability 100% optimized. I look forward to talking to you.